holding project is this cute little hedgehog. For this project, you'll need one repurposed book, scissors, glue dots, or, or just regular glue, uh, some decorations such as googly eyes, pom-poms, and some construction paper, and anything else um, you can think of that will make your hedgehog come to life. To start, we need to find where to begin our first fold. Take your total number of pages in your book, divide by two to get your center, center of your book. From there, minus 60 pages, so my middle is page 87, minus 60 is page 27. We're going to begin folding on 27. A hedgehog, a nice full hedgehog, is about 60 folds. One fold is two numbered pages, so we'll have 30 folds on one side of the center and 30 folds on the other side of the center. All right, let's get started. Our first fold, we're going to bring the page up to the middle, make a nice sharp crease, the lower right hand corner, bring that up to the middle crease, a nice uh, right angle, crease it, and the opposite side, we fold up. It's a little mini triangle, and that's our first fold. Second page, up to the middle, a nice sharp crease. From your lower right hand corner, bring it up to the center. You've got a nice right angle there. And often I like to match up my little fold with the one before it. So each page has three folds, fold up to the center, make a nice sharp crease. The bottom corner up to the middle, a nice right angle and crease. I match it up to the previous one and fold my little, my little triangle. Again, creasing sharply. This fold you will make throughout the book to make the shape of your hedgehog. Nice sharp crease. My little fold, I match up with the previous one and fold down. Match the little one up, and there we go. We're on our way to creating a hedgehog. Now have a nice shaped hedgehog, nice pointy nose, you've got the tail, you might need to bend the pages a little to get them flat and, and stay together. And now for the fun part, to decorate and make our hedgehog come alive. 
First, I'm going to add some eyes and a nose. A hedgehog has very poor eyesight. It relies heavily on its ears and its nose to help him get around. I cut some ears out of construction paper. I'm just going to slide these in. And some feet also out of construction paper. Just slide those right in there. Hedgehogs have quills just like a porcupine. And I made some quills out of the pages of a book. And I'm going to just tuck these right in. Hedgehogs have 5,000 to 7,000 spines. They're not barbed and they're not poisonous like a porcupine's, but they do raise up and help um, ward off predators or anything that's threatening the hedgehog. Let's tuck those in there. A hedgehog got its name from where it likes to live, in garden hedges, and from the sound it makes. It makes a grunting sound like a pig. Thus its name, hedgehogs. And now to add a bit of fun or whimsy, you can add a pom-pom. There's a cute little bow you can add, um, glasses, a tie, whatever you'd like to make your hedgehog come alive. I hope you enjoy this book folding craft, and I hope you will make a little hedgehog of your own. I found some books in the library starring the hedgehog. I hope you'll come visit us and check some of these cute books out. Thank you.